Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty, here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC24 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 221 today on this fine Tuesday. How are you all? Are you well? Please let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be absolutely brilliant. Of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, you can go ahead and sub for free. Um, today is going to be a fun one. Uh, lots of lots of gameplay today, actually, in various, well, in two different game modes. Um, but we start here with an 84 times 4 that I got for some reason. Probably for completing another day of the daily login. I'm nearly at the end of that now. And actually, today is the day, I believe, that... Um, you guys, at 6 o'clock tonight, we can complete that objective. But uh, a couple of new players, a couple of dupes, we'll deal with them in due course. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna today I'm going to play a little bit of Rivals. Because, well, when I was playing this stuff, I actually didn't... It was like, I wasn't streaming or anything. So I was like, I didn't want to go into Foot Champs. Uh, and I didn't dare start Foot Champs, to be honest. Because I didn't know how sweaty it was going to be. It's, it's Tots Champs, right? So... I got a little bit worried about it, but we will play a few in in today's episode. Uh, actually, gonna gonna work on an Evo throughout Rivals, um, which is gonna become my absolute secret weapon for Foot Champs, and I can't believe my luck uh, of what an amazing card that we're gonna get. Um, but here's a Tots for you. Not this one. I mean, this is Cobal. Um, but we do end up getting a Tots in one of our two 86 double dailies. Um, what do you make to these? Obviously, like, they've kind of replaced, like, the 83 times 10s. I don't know what I make to them. Um, it, you're putting quite a lot in for a smaller return, but a higher rated return. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, into my division rival squad comes Connor Chaplin uh, for Ipswich Town. Uh, so I've, I've, I've managed to, obviously, Evo him a little bit. Um... I believe up to this point, uh, we're, we've now got him up to an 85. Obviously, started as like a 71 rated card, I think. Uh, so we're we're now finally getting places with with an Ipswich player to the point where he is going to be like incredibly usable, um, which I could not be happier about because it's what taken until yeah like the end of April. Um, the game came out at the end of September, start of October. Uh, it's taken until mid to end April uh, in order for us to get like an Ipswich Town player that's like super, super, super usable based on the Evo path that I've chosen. I'm sure I could have got one a little bit sooner, um, but I'd already Evoed someone in a different way. In a certain, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you've already Evoed a player and then he doesn't fit in the next one or the next one or the next one for like three months. It's annoying. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, I was I was doing this simply so that I could work through the Connor Chaplin evolution uh, and get him up to a really good spot. I was also testing out Havertz and Sobersly for the first time. Um, and I think I ended up, I took out, I think I took out Werner uh, for the day because I really wanted to use Kaka. Absolutely loving using Kaka at the moment. Um, so I wanted to use Kaka. I was still, like, trying to use Robbie Keane to see if he was going to be the sort of striker for me. But I actually think Connor Chaplin is going to replace uh, Robbie Keane in my strike force for the Tots Weekend League. Now, that says something, doesn't it? So let's complete this entire Evo, going up from an 81 to an 85. 95 pace, 90 shooting, 93 dribbling. That is absolutely phenomenal. And, of course, we've added... Rapid plus playstyle plus, which is a very good one, in my opinion. But we're now going to put him straight into unleashing potential so we can get another plus one out of him and get some even better stats. This is just phenomenal. Um, so, with that, I will need to go back into rivals and play a few games. Uh, I, I do feel like we're at the point now where uh, Evos are coming kind of thick and fast. Um, not necessarily every day, like we didn't get one last night, did we? Um, but we're getting to the point where I feel like you should be able to do two or three Evo players at the same time. Uh, I know that would be popular amongst the entire community. So I wonder why that hasn't happened. Because it wouldn't really matter, would it? Just saves a little bit of time. Anyway, back into Rivals we go with a, a new progression part of the evolution to do on Connor Chaplin. Um, we are going to get him basically all the way up to his 
nearly his complete and utter final form for now. Hopefully there's another a level with that we can boost him up to over the uh, over the coming few weeks. That would be amazing if we could get him even better. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to take him up uh, a notch today. And as you can see, I've actually three wins uh, in in rivals already for you know the week and uh this this game right here i didn't even realize it at the time uh, normally i get a little bit nervous when i'm trying to get promoted and i have a promotion game on the line you know one where we if we win we will get promoted i normally bottle them i normally find that my opponents are very good in those ones i don't know how much of that is mind games or what but um You'll see in here, we're 2-0 up. My opponent ends up getting a red card. Connor Chaplin is literally running rings around my opponent. Um, a little bit like he does IRL. We, we, a quality footballer, he really is. And a good guy as well. Um, but on our hot streak there, and up to four wins out of seven for the week, we do actually venture into nosebleed territory of Division 3. Oh my God, what am I doing? Luckily, we're going to get uh, pushed back down to, to Div 4 uh, in the coming days uh, with the start of a new season this Thursday. Uh, but yeah, Connor Chaplin now up to 91 shooting, I think. Um, so yeah, just absolutely phenomenal right now. But we'll carry on because I thought, well, I've got four out of seven wins. Why not try and keep this hot streak going? See how far I can push up in Div 3. Um, and for those of you that are chilling in Div 5 or 6, like I have been for quite a long time, I actually think it's just as difficult as these divisions. Uh, I imagine once you get to Div 2, 1 and Elite, that's where the the sweats that always really try and push up to those div divisions uh, will will be um but so far div 5 div 4 div 3 all seem the same um the players in them don't seem like any any crazy or anything uh and as you can see we're literally carrying on our hot streak uh some of the teams you come up against are mad but hey you could say that for literally like division 10 at this point in the game uh people people have teams everywhere you can get a team in like three hours from starting a brand new RTG or something, you can get like a completely fresh squad um, in with TOTS players everywhere in, in like three, five hours, something like that, you know? It's super simple. But as you can see, I'm quite liking my new striker. <laughs> He's scoring goals for fun. Uh, and this is just in the rivals batches. And this is before, of course, he's even up to his final form of that 86. Uh, but carrying on the hot streak again, we are at the first checkpoint in Division 3 uh, with six out of seven wins for the week. And then uh, we come up against this guy right here, who for the first time in a while, I'm going to go 1-0 down. Scores a goal with Rivaldo. Um, Chaplin gets wiped out though, and my opponent does get his, who is that? Uh, I think it's Kohler, uh, gets sent off. So I'm like, all right, well now I've got a chance to get back in and win this one. And then he hits a Bicey with Vidic and I was like, oh, okay. So I'm two nil down, but against 10 men, uh, I can hopefully find a way to get back into this one. I could do that via Dom Sobersly and Timo Werner linking up. Uh, and then Kaka can find Connor Chaplin. Great first touch, great second touch. Lovely little shot on the five-star weak foot uh, into the back of the net. And then Chaplin, once again, buries it. These green time shots feel extremely powerful, not going to lie. Uh, we are using a player that has two playstyle pluses and 12 overall playstyles, which is an awful lot. I don't know how it, this this card has managed to like slip through the cracks of... Uh, of, of being able to actually get used in, in, in these various Evos. I know it's taken its time, but we've got a monster here. Um, so by the time I got my seven wins in Rivals for the week, we were up to this, this part right here. Only one section of Chaplin to go, and that's only going to increase his defending and physical by plus one each. So we've basically got the final form now. Um, that was a batch of 10 player picks, by the way, which was pretty awful. So I decided to kind of cut it out. Uh, I then get... I. I deliberated on this player pick for a while i nearly took vitinha uh, but i ended up taking modric just for the fodder because uh, we got plenty of very very good center mids at the moment so the fact that i didn't show you 10 player picks there because we didn't get much but i am showing you 20 player picks now is because we are going to at least get something in this little batch uh so let's let's see when that's going to come around well there's our first walkout uh there's our second walkout and there's our first tots oh good little triple Triple action there. Um, we get ourselves an Otamendi, which is quite nice. Um, and what's better than one Otamendi? Uh, well, that would be getting like two Otamendis. But I've, I've mistimed that. Oh, damn it. 
there he is. I, I thought he, I thought I packed him earlier on <laughs> in the little list, but yeah, I missed time that one. Sorry for spoiling the fact that we get another Autumn Endy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, a good little batch when you get two tots, um, some walkouts, some high rated cards, that sort of thing. I mean, I was, I was pretty buzzing to be fair. Uh, that has helped me out a treat. And that basically a load of those, those dupes can go into the final part of the Lucas Vasquez SBC decided to get this one done because he looks a good card at 91. Um, I remember enjoying him last year as a tots or the year before or both. I can't remember. Um, oh God, the old voice is starting to go. Uh, he is only a double playstyle plus player. Havertz, of course, being an expensive SBC is a three playstyle plus, but this is only two, but it's whip cross and jockey, which are quite good for a fullback. Uh, four star, five star can play anywhere up on the right hand side. Uh, and although low in strength, genuinely has a really cool card. And I'm think I'm deliberating over Sobersly or this card to go into that Evo for the Tots Live player. I'm thinking if Real Madrid could get a plus two for this Vasquez, turn him to a 93, and then I could upgrade it to a 94, it would actually be a really, really solid card. But then I could get a 93 overall Dom Sobersly. I'm not absolutely loving that card so far, though. So anyway, we're into champs, and uh, it is time to unleash my secret weapon upon foot champs, and that is, of course, Ipswich Town's Connor Chaplin, who is uh, a goal machine. Um, he's five foot six with high low work rates, four star, five star. Um, but some of those dribbling stats uh, on his card, he's got ninety five dribbling currently, and like ninety nine agility and balance. And on someone who's five foot six with regular technical and all, like every single one of the dribbling play styles. Um, well, I, I think we've got a bit of a beast on our hands. And my opponent's defenders are properly struggling to deal with him. And it feels so, so good. You know, I could be using Eusebio in my team. And I don't think he'd be as good as this card. Which is weird to say. Finally, an Ipswich Town player for a diehard Ipswich Town fan that I can use... Um, in my actual ultimate team in tots foot champs you know normally this is where you don't experiment you don't use players that are like your evos or whatever you use your best players turns out i think this guy might actually be one of my best players so uh yeah couldn't be happier i'm sure i'm trying i'm trying to get across to you how much like a good evo for my football club means to me doing this road to glory um I get that if you support like Liverpool or Arsenal or, or Man City or whatever, you know, you've probably managed to get some really cool cards this year. For those of us supporting teams in like the lower leagues or players that are, you know, or trying to use players that start off as a bronze or a silver, it doesn't happen that you actually end up using them in your main squad that that frequently. Um, so yeah, this is this is incredible so uh we're actually two and oh right now got an eight one victory in my first game uh and a one nil rage quit in the second one so two quite different games but with the same result and then i come up against this this i have to say is the the sweatiest or best player that i've come up against this weekend and probably for a couple of weeks actually this is the best player i come up against um it, oh man, uh, I could not contain the left stick dribbling of this fella. He he was really, really good at holding possession, uh, making the right passes, literally cutting in and out with left stick dribbling. So I even when I lunged in for a tackle, I went the wrong way. Um, somehow I found myself 3-1 up. I mean, it was a chapper's hat trick. So we love that for him. Um, yeah, even even my opponent here, who uh, who was clearly a, a solid, solid player, could not contain Connor Chaplin. Um, but we were 3-1 up. Unfortunately, I let this one slip to get back to 3 all. I mean, my opponent just applied so, so much pressure. And then, as you can see, we went the distance. 122nd minute. Unfortunately, uh, his Evo Jota ends up scoring in the 122nd minute um, to win the game. <coughs> Excuse me. To not send this one to penalties. Uh, yeah, I got absolutely destroyed in that one. Uh, but I held it for so long and I thought maybe I could get the win. Uh, but that was that was a real, real sweaty game. It, it's, it really was. A tough one. Uh, but GG's in the end to my opponent. It wound me up at the time, but I can accept that he was just a far better player and I kind of held on for a long time. My next opponent has a real cool squad. Uh, lots of good reds and a team of the year Messi in his team. Doesn't stop me from going 1-0 up though. Let's try and make it two, shall we? Werner. 
that's a, that's on me for trying to power shot there. Probably shouldn't have bothered. Uh, but hey, who needs Werner when you've got Chappers? Uh, he ends up putting me 2-0 up. That's going to lead to a rage quit. And that is like his 11th goal or something in, in like four games. It's kind of crazy. Uh, and we finally get the complete Evo done. We are now sat with an 86 Connor Chaplin, 96 pace, 91 shooting, 95 dribbling, 12 play styles. Awesome card. Um, next opponent also had like three reds, some cool players. It was quite good uh, at keeping possession. Uh, but I, I, I went 1-0 up, literally. He had kickoff. I did steal the ball off of him. And then uh, I scored off of that, which was weird. Two minutes on the clock and I'd already got a goal. Took me until the 25th to get a second. Um, fully evoed Chappers again, getting that one. And then we make it 3-0 with Sobersly making... Finally making something happen for us. Uh, I, I have not been loving him. I've been thinking of replacing him already. And at the, earlier on today, I was thinking that he might be the player that I evo to try and get up to that 93 overall. Don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm just not loving him. Um, but yeah, another another goal for Chappers. Another 4-0. Uh, well, another rage quit, should I say. And a 4-0 one at that. And that is 4-1 for the first five games. Now, I am sounding a lot better i'm feeling quite a lot better uh so i'm hopefully going to be streaming as you're watching this today hopefully i'll be live today to play the other 15 games live on stream get those rewards get those red player picks all of that good stuff so uh yeah come and check out my twitch channel i could even be live right now which is awesome um i think i've said the word awesome too much in this episode sorry about that but uh, if you've enjoyed this awesome video, <laughs> do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe as well to my channel if you're new. Cheers and follow me on social media. The links are down below. Like I said, could be live or will be live later on, on today. Uh, so come check me out on Twitch. Uh, we shall rage through the rest of our games, but we're off to a good start. Four and one is nice. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll catch you all tomorrow. See you then. Peace.